Hi everyone, I'm Christina Blagin. I'm a Salesforce consultant with Milo Massimo, where a Salesforce TPQ partner. In the previous video, we discussed about how to make a line column appear conditionally. That was the discount column, and we made it appear on the quotes only if there are values in it, in order not to make your customers wonder why they are not getting a discount. Now, let's take it further and see what other functionalities we can use uh, related to conditional print fields. The discount column visibility was driven from a formula field. However, it's possible to control the visibility of a line column manually from a checkbox that can be used as a toggle switch whenever needed. Sometimes we want to send a quote without the pricing fields here. So you know that each uh, quote line has pricing columns that are shown by default, the unit price and the extended columns. What we are going to do is try to leave them off uh, of the output documents. Last time we used the formula field. This time we're going to be driving it from a custom checkbox on the quote because uh, remember all the conditional print fields are coming from the quote. So the very first step is to create the checkbox, say show pricing columns. Uh, this may be something that is going to be set up by a process or it can be uh, manually set up by the end user. So uh, in order to achieve this, uh, we'll need to add the show pricing uh, columns API name to our pricing columns and both the net unit price and the extended one. So let's take it step by step and go to quote object in setup. Okay, now let's go to fields and relationships. Click new. Okay, select the checkbox radio button. Click next. Okay, so uh, let's enter a field label, show pricing columns, and um, let's set the default value as checked and click next. And again, next and save. Now uh, let's copy the API name of this field because we are going to use it in the next step. Now, while still in setup uh, in object manager, now let's go to another object now. That is the line column. Again, to fields and relationships. And let's find the conditional print field and update its values. So new, paste the API name and save. Now let's go and update the unit price and extended line columns to only be visible when the show pricing fields checkbox is set as true. Okay, here they are, unit price. Let's click edit. Find the conditional print field. Show pricing columns, save. And let's repeat the action for the extended column. Okay. Like this. Okay, now you should be able to toggle the pricing fields on and off with just the help of a custom checkbox. So first let's go and uh, take a look at this uh, checkbox on the quote record. Okay, cancel. Let's uh, refresh. Page. Okay, here it 
is. Note that it is unchecked. Remember that the default value of uh, this checkbox would be executed once during a record creation. That's why on uh, existing quote records, we will have to manually update the checkbox. So let me check it first and uh, make sure that the pricing columns are there. And preview document. Okay, so the pricing columns are here. By the way, um, notice how uh, one column here bleeds right into another. So this can be fixed in a jiffy. So what we can do is uh, make the column wider to make sure that it accommodates more uh, characters. However, keep in mind that while we make a column wider, we should narrow another one because uh, they all add up and form 100%. Okay, so uh, let's go and do just uh, that. Okay, this one here, let's edit it and set the width to 25. And for the description, Let's update it and make it use less horizontal space and set it to 35. Okay, so what we're doing here is deducing what we've added to the first column because if it goes beyond 100%, uh, the columns are going to go off the side of the page. So uh, let's go back and uh, review the document. Okay, so it all fits beautifully now. Okay, so now let's go back and test our toggle switch again. Okay, and cancel. Uncheck the show pricing columns. Save. And Preview document, preview again. And uh, all right, no pricing columns here. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.